And welcome to Apex Esports League. Sorry about the little bit of a delay. We've just had some technical issues with iRacing Yui not allowing me to actually get in and view the session. So we are quite excited to be starting off, even though off to a little bit of bad luck, our first live broadcast series for iRacing. So we've normally doing it on Project Cars 2 for PS4 slash PS5. And tonight we have the opening round of the Logitech G Supercars Championship. It is a five round series. Tonight's round is at Lime Rock Park and then drivers are currently just over into a 10 minute practice session weather is clear then we'll head into qualifying there's 10 minute qualifying it is an open qualifier and then the race is 40 minutes weather is expected to be clear it is a standing start with a double file back with ongoing weather variation of 20 so we may see a little bit of wear of that weather variation as we progress few so with this championship courtesy of logitech g we have a fantastic prize up for grabs so the drivers will be competing for in the championship to take home one of these Logitech G502 Lightspeed wireless gaming mouses. So it's a fantastic prize for our drivers to be contesting for. So very exciting. We'll just be heading over into the pit lane in just a moment. Over trackside. Looks on screen displays so we can make ourselves familiar. We have a fair few new drivers to our league. We have been doing Monday night racing for a while. We did it on Tuesday nights for a bit. We did just wrap up the GT3 championship just last week. We had Sebastian Van Dell end up taking the win in the championship. Some displays for us so you can see what's going on. We got 14 drivers tonight, so it should be some good action around Lime Rock Park with 14 cars. We may get a couple of later joiners. So we'll make our way down through the list. A little bit of lag going on there. It's Robbie Babry. He's a been a regular drive with Apex Esports League, not just only on iRacing but also in Project Cars. Always a very strong top contender, and he's in the KFC car. And we have Tony, if I can say his name, Tony Vasilis. He's in his first race with Apex Esports League tonight. So welcome aboard. And Bruce Robinson. So he's no stranger to Apex Esports League. You would have seen him in previous broadcasts under Project Cars 2 series. He was Psycho Agency, so if you do have been viewing with us for quite some time, you will recognise him. So he made a jump over onto... Oh, big broad slide coming up into the chicanes. He manages just to avoid going off into quite a big spin. And those curbs going up through those chicanes on these low cars will cause a fair bit of damage as well, if not actually jump them out a fair bit. So over to Mark Fortin. Sorry, Mark Fortin to car number triple four. So he's also a regular drive with Apex Esports League, especially in the iRacing, but also in our project cars. So you would know him as, as a normal if you've been keeping up to date with all our streams. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to hit that follow button. We will hopefully be getting a regular amount of streaming on Monday nights for the, or will be for this series for sure. So hopefully if it goes with a bit of success, we'll continue to stream on Monday nights. So after this series wraps up, we will be doing the Spec Racer Ford series. So this series for the supercars was actually only just thrown in quite 
at um, last moment. So we did have the spec racer Fords set up to actually go or well, commencing tonight, but then since with the new season of iRacing, there's expected to be a quite large physics overhaul in the update for the spec race of Ford. So we would have potentially been going two weeks into the series and having the car completely feeling different, which would have really thrown a lot of drivers off, and especially if they've started practicing for further rounds and setups then start to no longer work. So. some movement jumping around up here so we'll try and make our way back through. So Blake Urquhart is debuting with us tonight. Looks like he's in the Mustang. And Sebastian Vandel, he ended up just winning the series gone. Ooh, big broad slide through that coming in that chicane. Driver's probably finding tyres a little bit cool still. So just got under four minutes remaining of the practice session. Now we've got another newcomer to Apex Esports League. And he's appropriately got the correct colours for his car, being a Logitech G Championship. So he's in the Logitech G car. I'm not sure if he's not out on track at the moment. It's Blake Tilbrook. Not new to Apex Esports League, but we haven't had him race for quite some time. Did start doing a few races with him early on in Apex Esports League. Ooh, that same spot, that chicane, really getting a fair few drivers. Keep making our way through. Neil McKenzie looking like he's going to bring that car back into the pits. Psycho again. And another newcomer as well. And a very tidy looking Commodore. It's got the whole racing team livery up the side of it. It's quite an impressive looking car. We've got Sam Tucker too, also new with Apex Esports League. So it's good to see a good amount of people getting on board to try and have a shot at taking the Logitech G502 light speed wireless, sorry, mouse I should say, controller. I am usually on track racing with the guys. So I've been racing in the iRacing and then broadcast just the Project Cars 2 for Apex Esports League. So almost contemplating not broadcasting it just so I could get on track and actually have a crack at trying to win that great prize myself. It is a fantastic prize and really thankful for Logitech G for providing that for Apex Esports League. Currently quickest time out there is Hayden Cell. Stephen Banks and I are on track at the moment. I'm surprised we haven't got the scenic view get thrown up. Be able to see all the shots of that garden gnome. I have never seen just where that garden gnome is Will being out on track. If anyone knows and you're in the chat, be sure to let us know where we can actually find the garden gnome at Lime Rock. And then don't forget, I can see chat as well. You can jump in, say hello, let us know who you think is going to take pole. See if you know any of your drivers out there, if they're friends, family, and you are there to cheer them on, be sure to jump in the chat. Hit that follow button if you haven't done so. There's also our social media links down below. You can check out our Facebook page that has all our results, standings, and incident reports after the races. So you can actually see how things are going. Ooh, a little bit of contact coming down the hill. Coming down onto turn nine. That was some very tight racing there. Jump on board for a lap with someone in a moment. Who have we got? Hayden's heading work out. Let's see if we can find someone who's going to be starting out on track. So a lot of pace there in the Mustang as he flies around. Someone moves out of the road for Blake. Let's see if we can 
find someone who is actually about to wrap up a lap that we can see them start off. Kenzie looks like he's not too far off, so we might jump on board. He's coming into the chicanes, he's not too far off. Lovely sound purring out of that Ford Mustang. See how he's going for it. Hey Simo, thanks for joining us. Yeah, I've parked up the car for tonight, doing the stream. Oh, he's actually going to bring the car in, I oh, know. So we'll have to find someone else to do a lap for us around. Take Jordan uh, jumping on board for on another Ford. So Ford fans will be happy to see him get out. He's got some good speed getting up and around to the last corners. And let us know if audio isn't quite right. I've done as much testing as I can to make sure that you can still hear me and the race. And there is sound effects controls underneath still, just like on our project car streams. Everyone's going to pull off on turn one and, and not get a lap in. So it is the finish of the practice that is why they're bringing those cars in. So we'll jump on board with someone for a qualifying lap. The drivers have got a moment just to get through. Let's see if we can see just how... No, no... Times carried through, so we'll have a look at that in a moment. And that is actually the qualifying. So it did take the practice session for me to get this stream going, as the game wouldn't let me in, and had to actually restart the PC just beforehand. Blake Urquhart ended up qualifying in first position. I oh, think Simo, that's great, mate. So drivers, I've got a couple of minutes. There's 30. S oh, everyone has hit ready, so the timer is gone. So we're about to have the lights drop. The opening round for the Logitech G Supercars Championship. Debut race and stream for Apex Esports League. And see, pretty good start. Not too many spinning at the lights. Kind of scrambling to find track position into turn one. And then just a marginal lead by Hayden. He's got Blake Urquhart sitting pretty tight behind him. Starting to pull away from Blake, but Blake's got Jay, sorry, Jake Bonham just tucking in behind him. Starting to try and close in. Seems to be a little bit of a gap going on. Oh, there's been a spin at the back. I think Jordan Sell's just gone for a spin. May have been a little bit of net code. So we had. Blake go off track just in that corner. So that's what was going on. Hayden still pulling away pretty quick, coming up into the chicanes now. Gets right up over that curb, bounces that Commodore straight up. Blake's got Blake, sorry, Hayden has Blake. Closing in, ooh, a little bit of net code from Hayden going down the hill. Blake gets a lot of rear slide going down into the final turn, carrying a lot of speed down on the pit straight. He's really focusing on Hayden. I think he's 
possibly going to be catching up pretty quick. Oh, definitely now. So Blake has gone off a big slide. Can he get back on in time? Gets on nice and safe. With a net card going, he's blinking around a bit. Ooh, a little bit slippery for Blake. Probably a little bit off put. Ran a different line down through those corners after getting around Blake. So we now have John. Lock check G. Oh, he locks it up coming down to the chicanes. Just gets it through. It's probably going to be a slowdown for him for cutting the corner there. Sam Tucker has moved up pretty nicely. Hayden's dropped back down into fourth position. Thanks, Sami. And with Stephen Banks, we didn't get to see him in the qualifying session. He had the car parked up, but he's got Sebastian Vardell sitting right up there, getting that slipstream to turn into turn one. And Sebastian is a very quick driver. He absolutely destroyed us in the GT3 Championship that just concluded. And he's only a young fella as well, so having a young bloke beat us, older fellas, he's doing very well. Take allowing Stephen Banks to get back up in fruit. Oh, a bit of a nudge shunts him into the chicane. He was coming in a lot quicker than what Stephen was. And for those of you that have been keeping up to date with Apex Esports League streams, Stephen Banks is actually one of our racers from the Project Cars 2. And I Introduced him into iRacing quite some time ago and he hasn't turned back and he's been doing some fantastic driving. We have Blake Urquhart now leading out by 2.8 seconds. So he's getting a pretty big gap over Sam Tucker now. We have Hayden sitting tight in behind Sam Tucker and we're Jake Bonham is also, sorry no, Hayden Sell is looking to get in up around these guys as well. He wants to get back out in front. That's one, two, three for the Commodores. And they are following, I think, the Mustang out front. So look at there, there will be some good slipstream here from Hayden. Seeing just lying, oh, and it's, Hayden's locked that up. Then he's also nearly followed through. It was quite put off. And we'll check that on the replay. That was a pretty heavy lockup as he was coming down. Gets right up in behind him. Sees that lockup. Gets in around, but then he does a lot of understeer as he comes down into turn one. So that could have gone badly for Hayden. But he managed to pull that through very nicely. Now he's there, trying to chase down Blake Urquhart. I do quite enjoy us being able to go back for replays. It's not something we can do when we are streaming for Project Cars 2 on the PS4. So he's now got a little bit to catch up. Jake Bonham, not too far behind. He's looking, ooh, a little bit of... Right rear lockup, same spot that we saw happen before. With Sam locking that up, coming down to turn one. Sebastian Vandell still hasn't got too far around Stephen Banks. He's still looking to try and get back around him. These two are playing a bit of cat and mouse. Ooh, a little bit of a bad line. It would cost him a little bit. He's got a good scrape up the side of the car as well. And the drivers do have unlimited fast repairs. So we won't see drivers end up having to lose out on the race by having a wrecked car. They will just have to lose a fair bit of time by getting the cars towed. So when there's a catastrophic failure for this game, if you aren't familiar with iRacing, you do get the car towed and that usually takes a couple of minutes to bring it back in and you'll just be sitting in the pits waiting and then you can actually run your fast repair and have the car instantly repaired. It's so a little bit of action going down towards the back. Position 9 with Tony Vasellis, followed by Jordan Sell and Mark Horton. Tony Vasellis really gets away down pit straight. He had a good run in on turn 9. 
a lot of lockups going on, so it probably needs some brake biases being played with. Jordan Sell in the nice Red Bull Racing colours. Pretty sure that's the Holden. Yeah, it is Holden on the Ford Mustang. That's a little bit of sacrilege. There'd probably be a lot of Holden and Ford fans turning over in their graves knowing that there's Holden Lovery all over the Mustang. I suppose if you like both of them, why not have both? Mark Horton with the Clutch Kickers group. Markings on the side of his car. So there's just 32 minutes remaining. And with this series, we have capped the fuel limits to the cars. So the cars can only carry a maximum of 47% fuel load. So that will force the drivers to have to do a pit stop. So it is the format that we run with our series for Project Cars 2 on the PS4. Ooh, Bruce Robinson's taken a fair hit. He's lost the bonnet on his Mustang. Let's try and have a look and see if he's been in from... He hasn't been into the pits, so the car must be doing pretty well. It's his fastest laps of 54.6. Fastest lap set so far is a 52.838, and that's been set by Hayden Sell. So his last lap was a 53.6. And then the last lap set by Blake Urquhart, who's leading the race currently set a 53.59 so if Hayden keeps up this pace he'll be potentially looking to battle Blake for the lead and Blake really using every bit of that track and they tend to lock up a fair bit no he's got that there the brake bias on these cars can be quite tricky they do love to lock up a fair bit at some of the suspension as they get in around. So we're seeing a fair bit of rear brake lockup. You can hear the, a lot more throttle control going. Oh, we've just had Lake Tilbrook retire. So he's only got six laps, so he's four laps down, so he must have had a pretty big hit. You can see his car sitting quite nice and low, there's not much movement going on. But he's got some very good troll and not locking up like we've been seeing on the other drivers. A pretty good lead, so he's got three seconds over Hayden Sell now. We still have a battle going on towards the midfield. Oh, he's going to get almost going to go up for an inside line. Mark Horton starting to look for a position to get around Jordan Sell. Uh, a little bit higher, no, sorry, it's Tony that is looking to get around. Tony's in the King Chrome Commodore. He takes a more defensive line on approach into the chicanes. He's going to probably get a good bit of gap over him. Oh, a very slow run by Jordan. That's going to see Tony looking to get around, but that's very wide. He's going to slip out. He gets the car under control. Oh, no, that we've just had, sorry, Neil McKenzie spin out. Uh, that was, who is that? That's Aaron that's just gone. We've had a few, oh, we've had a rollover as well. That's going to be a safety car to come out. The yellow flag is out. That's big disaster there. So we'll have a safety car out in a moment. As these guys try and get up, one of the others will be towed. Have a look and 
to see what was going on, see if we can find it. Try and find Tony Vasellis. That is the big spin. So he spins around, goes out in front. That was very tight. Back live now. We have Blake tucking in behind the pace car. So he did have a nice lead here. How managed to get a 13.2 lead? That's going to be costly for him. He's going to have to make sure he gets a good run here. So restarts his double file, lap cars to the back. So the driver's taking the opportunity to pit in now. back as well. So if you're staying out, so it's usually two laps that the pace car will run. It's Jake Bonin. He's our race leader. And don't forget can play a variety of sound effects over the stream. There is sound controls down below. You can cheer on your drivers and do a variety of sound effects. So have some fun. If you're familiar with our streams that we've been doing on Thursday nights, it's all the same controls. I see and Simo, I just noticed yours. We'd love to do the iRacing, we need a good PC. If you check out Cataclysm Computers, this is where I bought mine and they are very well priced and you can get a good entry level PC for very cheap. You can see Jake Bonham there getting up and going through the pace car. You can't actually make contact with the pace car. It just, just actually goes. So it'll be one more lap and then we'll be ready to go again. Hey Gallon, thanks for joining us. Cars. Cars have now caught up and been in for a pit as well. So almost halfway through the race. A quick pit stop and dash for some fuel. Should probably be enough to last out. They shouldn't have to pit in again. They do have unlimited tyre changes as well. For those that aren't familiar with iRacing, you can actually limit the number of tyre changes. Gap is now gone. Like Alan cheering on Stephen Banks. Stephen Banks currently in seventh position. He was battling it out with Sebastian Van Dell earlier. Sebastian has moved up into fourth position. Should be away. Hopefully it's not. Yes, pace car is in. So a restart now. Green flag, green flag. They cannot pass before the line. There could be potentially a penalty for Sebastian Barndell getting up in between. I'm not sure if he did just tuck in enough of his mate contact. It's almost free wide going through turn one. That's pushed out. Is that Mark Horton's being pushed out? He's gone for a slide out into the grass from turn one. 
gets back in that was pretty wild going free wide. Now that Blake Urquhart has caught up to Jake Bonham. Jake Bonham's going to have to start playing some defensive moves to keep that Mustang at bay. So we've also had Bruce Robertson retire out. So he retired out in lap 11. So we've currently done 16 laps. Just look at how tight Blake is sitting. That is crazy. He goes for an inside line. He beats him to the apex. The line is his. A brilliant pass. He's carrying a lot of speed there. He's going to make sure he doesn't slip out like the Commodore behind him did. A little bit of slip from Jake. So Mark Horton now falling back a little bit. He's just behind Sebastian Vandell as well. Be catching up to do. So Stephen Banks is having to hold off Tony Vasellis. So Tony was the guy that I spun out, I think, earlier. He got caught up with the. I think it was the Red Bull car with the Ford Mustang. Blake is starting to pull away from Jake Bonham. And Robbie Bradbury currently in third position. He's got two seconds before he can catch up to Jake Bonham. But Sam Tucker is sitting hot tight on his tail. He's going to be probing for an opportunity to sneak around. You see him looking outside, inside. the nose. So see him carry on a lot of speed onto that turn. I think Robbie Bradbury is going to be in trouble. Oh, it's going to be tight. Look is how close these guys are. It is, is very tight racing. Gets around. He dominated that track position. A very nice pass. He's not out of it yet. Just tucks in that car marginally in front of Robbie's car. <laughs> Callan heading KFC sponsorship. We've got um, several. Stephen Banks also runs the KFC library, as well as Robbie, and we don't have the other guy usually races with us. And if you aren't aware, either Gallon, if you remember Bertie from Project Cars 2. That is Robbie Bradbury. So he used to destroy us all on a controller in Project Cars 2. And then when he came over to iRacing and having to use a steering wheel, he wasn't too impressed to start with. Well, a lot of bounce. Like, really pushing this Mustang. Marginally just slower than the fastest lap set currently. 52.838 is the quickest lap that's been set by Hayden Sell. And then we have Blake Urquhart who's set a 52.893. He's really pulling away, so it's now a 3.2 second lead. have Hayden Sell and Robbie Bradbury quickly catching up to Sam Tucker. Sorry, Robbie Bradbury. Calling him his old PS names. And he's really just closing then. Robbie really wasn't as quick down through the chicane. And the car 
cars in I racing for the ZB Commodore and the Ford Mustang. All these setups are the same, so whatever setups you adjust for one car you can use on the other. So they are equally matched. So it is more just whether you want to be driving the Ford or the Holden. Hayden's really looking to get around. Just how close he is getting to the tail of Robbie. And he's almost just been squeezed out. That was pretty tight. He's had to yield a little bit of slip. Turn one. Oh, he goes to put in. F goes for that inside line. He's not far enough ahead to actually have it. A little bit of slip as he hits that curb. That's where things went wrong at the race restart when we had free wide going around there. Mark Horton did catch that curb and slide out into the grass. It's about 16 and a half minutes remaining. Oh, a little bit of a touch. I did surprise him. Robbie went for a little bit slower. And he was expecting him to still carry that speed. That did put him off. A little bit of spin. And Jake is now looking to get around Hayden Sell. So our race leader is now leading the race by 6.877 seconds. And he's still closing out as well. So it's going to be a battle for a spot on the podium. With Robbie Bradbury only a few seconds behind Sam Tucker. But he's going to be fairly occupied trying to defend Hayden Sell, who's going to get back up towards the front of the race. We did see him early on in the race. Okay, Gal, he, he may need to drive the Commodore. I think he definitely wouldn't, I'm pretty sure he's a good Ford fan. So we really look to see how the rest of the field is going. A little bit of action, so I think that is Sebastian Van Del getting caught up behind Jordan Sell. And Maguire. Charles back, so Mark Horton. Sitting tight behind Sebastian Vandel. Mark having to reclaim a fair few positions. He was sitting up as one of the race leaders for the restart. He's really hoping for potential for another pace car. And over to our race leader who's doing a fantastic job out front. He's just putting down so much time. Last lap he just completed was a 53.57. That is the quickest time out of all last laps being set. A little bit of space going on for Sam Tucker. He's dropping away. Oh, we've just got Robbie Bradbury. Oh, it gives a flash of the lights to Hayden. He's looking to try and get around. If that was just an indication for going no, pass. Oh, we just had a lock up from Jake's car. That back right again coming into the chicane. So we are on lap 27. It's 13 and a half seconds, sorry, 13 and a half minutes remaining of the session. I think we'll see any more pit stops. We have had a couple. Sam Tucker's been into the pits twice. Sebastian Vandel and Stephen Banks also pitting twice. Mark Horton and Aaron Maguire have yet to pit. And Jake Bonham as well. So 
Jake will lose a lot of positions game from him trying to contest with Robbie. Because he's not going to have enough fuel to wrap up the rest. Be pretty close to needing to pit in. Spacing going on for the cars now. Oh, and he runs off. Stephen has misjudged the chicane. He's got three seconds before Mark Horton catches up. I think he did just actually go past the car. I think that's Aaron Maguire's car that he's just got around. Might as well jump on board with Steven. Oh, a little bit of smoke going on. I'm not sure if that's someone has gone off. It's a very good product control. Oh, that's going to cost him into the wall. That's turned him around. That's a big spin. I think he got that tyre out onto the kerb yeah, and then just lost it. Big spin. Won't need a safety car. He's got the car back out on track quickly. Blake was probably starting to stress out just a little bit. <laughs> he must have known Will on board with him. Put the pressure on him. But it is a very common corner to go out for a spin. You can actually take it fairly quick. I do quite enjoy Lime Rock Park. The Ford Mustang is well and truly leading now. He's nearly got that lead out to 12 seconds. Sam Tucker might be in for some trouble as Hayden Sell is catching up very quickly. Robbie Bradbury is still trying to close that gap in on the race leaders. currently. Oh, we've just had someone go off up ahead as well. I'm sure if that was Stephen's car. Yes, he's made a mistake. Pit. And I think there's also a car down towards the back as well. It's the same. I'm not sure who it is in the Logitech car from the looks of things. Jake Bonham heading into the pit, so I don't think he'd actually pit yet, so this is his first pit, so he's needing to get that fuel. I'm not sure if he'll get a change of tyres. How did we get Logitech a sponsor? I just um, sent them a message and they were more than happy after checking out Apex Esports League. Very privileged to have been able to get them to Logitech G Australia New Zealand to actually provide us with the fantastic prize. So it's about $280 worth of gaming mouse. So it is a damn good prize to be getting. So we've got a lot of drivers looking to get in and have that mouse come to their home. Hayden Sell looking to get around. Tucker says a lap car. I think that's Aaron McGuire's car. Showing the blue flag. Moves out of the way. Aaron 
Jaguar. It's new to league racing as well. It's a very late entry, only just joining up to the league just in the last couple of hours. And he is doing very well out on track. So he had no practice, only just purchased the car tonight. So he hadn't had much practice except for 10 minutes before heading in. So well done, Aaron. I'm sure coming into next week, he'll have that Commodore well and truly putting down some speed. Sam Tucker's got Hayden Sell now caught up. Yeah, they did mention about steering wheel, but they had actually already used up their allocations for other sponsorships they do. Oh, a little bit of net code going on. So the cars just vanished momentarily. So they only had, had mice available to be able to send through. You never know, we may be lucky enough at some stage to be able to get a fantastic Logitech steering wheel or some other accessories. That is, that is sitting right behind Blake, so he's just gotten around. I think that's Jordan Sell's car. No, it's not Jordan Sell's car. Jake Bonham in the Logitech G car. So, Jake. Currently in 8th position. He's only just one lap down, so only just being lapped currently. Blake is absolutely on fire, he's on lap 35, just under 6 minutes remaining. And Sebastian Vardell moves out of the way for them as well. So he's currently 53 seconds behind. One lap gap between him and the race leader. Oh, jumps that car up over that curb. That was a, some brutal stuff going on with the Mustang. Thanks also with the KFC Fuchs liveries. He's got some good scrapes up the side of that car from when he went off just before the chicanes. I think I'm just through one to see if there's any battles going on. So we've got a fair bit of spacing going on for the cars at the moment. Battle for the remaining spots on the podium is still there. It's one tiny error. And then that gap will be closed in pretty quickly. Robbie will be able to close that in or Hayden. And they are all pretty on par for last laps. Last lap set for Sam, Hayden and Robbie were 54.6, 54.7 and 54.3. They have served a pit. They so will have enough fuel to get around for the remaining four minutes of the race. White flag will be shown in about three minutes. No, I can't get him in on to that. It's something I'll have to try and figure out how to do. May be able to try and look at doing that at a later stage. It was all kind of a big rush over the weekend just to get all this set up. So it would be good to be able to jump on and talk with drivers. Look at that tight gap. Hayden is sitting right on the tail of Sam Tucker. He's looking for an opportunity to get around.
nice line for the chicanes. A lot more speed coming out through there compared to Sam. Sam moves over to block that line. He's carrying a lot of good speed. Can he follow suit for the last corner? Sam isn't going to give this up very easily. Both of them taking a very tight line through turn one. There's that curb that can get them really unstuck. Oh, lock that front up. That's going to be costing Sam dearly. Cautious throttle control, especially on that exit curb. That's where we saw Stephen Banks come undone and be put into the wall. Gets up and around. Oh, a lot of throttle control, there's a lot of spin as he comes up over that crest. The car does actually start the spin as it goes, so it goes over that crest. From the chopper cam at the moment as we chase down Hayden and Sam. That loss of traction going up the hill really costs some time for Hayden. He's a cautious down through turn one. A little bit of a lock by Sam Tucker. Look at Robbie Bradbury just in behind these guys as well. He's starting to catch up on them. Oh, another lock up into the chicane. That's going to cost him a position. Can he get around in time? They're going to fight for it. He has to get that curve to get around. Also, Robbie Bradbury is coming up along the inside. I don't think he's going to get enough time to tuck in and get that line. Not sure if tyres starting to show some wear. We've only got 38 seconds remaining. It will be white flag in a moment. Lock up by Robbie Bradbury. So we've still got 12 cars out on track. Only two retirements. That's it, is the conclusion. Blake Urquhart. Finishing the race, taking the opening victory. Lovely burnout for the end. Well done to Blake Urquhart. Hayden Sell in second position. A whole bunch of cars will be hanging around for some mandatory celebratory <laughs> burnouts. As Sam Tucker in third position. Robbery Gravery comes up into fourth position. So we'll enjoy a quick few burnouts as these guys celebrate the opening round for the Logitech G Supercars Championship. So we'll have a look at the results now. So we have Blake Urquhart taking first, followed by Hayden Sell. And then we have Sam Tucker 2 taking the other spot on the podium in third position, followed by Robbie Bradbury, Neil McKenzie, Jake Bonham, Tony Vasellis, Mark Horton 2, Stephen Banks, Sebastian Van Dell. Then we'll bring up the next screen. So Aaron Maguire in 11th position, so he's four laps down. Then we have Jordan Sell, Bruce Robinson, and Blake Tilbrook. So Bruce and Blake both retiring out early on. So they were 31 laps down and 36. So a very exciting opening round to the Logitech G Supercars Championship. So next week we'll be back again around 7.30. It does just take a few moments to actually get the session to load up. So we do start at 7.30, but by the time the server actually loads, it's usually a few minutes through and hopefully no technical issues go on next time. So 
Next week we have round two, and we are in an... Australian track, so over to Oran Park Raceway Grand Prix. So it's going to be very exciting seeing the Holdens and the Mustangs battling it out around Oran Park Raceway. So be sure to stay tuned and be sure to hit that follow button if you haven't done so yet. And then you can also go to our YouTube channel and check out all our past broadcasts all our previous series have been done on project cars too but we appreciate you joining us hit that follow button and i hope we can have you join us trackside for round two of the logitech g supercars championship next week thanks <laughs>